Ain't it funny how a man will act like it was so easy to replace you. It was so easy to move on. He just living his best life. You were the problem. You know, it's just so easy to replace you until he get out there and fail at replacing you. And now all of a sudden he want to spin the block. Ain't, ain't it funny how that always work out like that? But man, shut your goofy ass up. Be quiet. <laughs> man, how many of you guys remember this clown? This dude used black women to make millions and millions of dollars for years, for years. He was pandering, saying what women wanted to hear. Meanwhile, he was married, while black women he was preaching to were single, but spending money buying his books, going to his seminars, paying for his uh, 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 hourly counseling. You understand what I'm saying? Guys like him and Steve Harvey made millions of dollars pandering to women. Now, look at the result. Look at the result. Look at the black dating dynamic. Dating is bad in America, period. But I'm speaking specifically black relationships. It is down the toilet. It is down the toilet. And when I speak about it on this channel, some of you females attack me. So in today's episode, you ladies can hear from a woman's mouth on how you ladies need to stop letting these fake gurus, fake male coaches, fake whatever they call themselves. Stop letting them play with your emotions. Stop letting them keep you ladies single. Stop letting them manipulate you all. Shout out to our good sister, Kamika Shabazz, for sending this clip. Let's get to it. Hello. Welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the show. Black women, I plead with you, and I seriously, earnestly beg you to please stop letting people manipulate you through your feelings. Please stop letting people use your anger and your bitterness towards your own men to um, for profit. Because these fake gurus, men, women, whoever, because both of them doing it now, they know that black women are emotional. They know that black women want to hear, women period, but I'm talking about black women right now, want to hear what they want to hear. And so they telling y'all what y'all want to hear because they know y'all make them rich. Because if they really cared about you, if they really wanted to empower you, they'd be telling you to forgive. They'd be telling you to let it go. They'd be telling you do not miss out on your blessings by blaming all men um, for blaming all men for the things that the, the men that hurt you did. They'd be telling you that ain't all men. Don't miss out on your blessings. Bam. Like I always say on this channel, where is the lie? Where did she lie? Where, if anybody can point out where did this sister lie? This channel, I don't pander to nobody. I don't pander to men. I don't pander to women. I hold men accountable just like I hold women accountable. You understand what I'm saying? Just like I hold the, 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 those weak, lame ass, self-hating Negroes that love white women, I hold all you swirlers accountable as well. I hold all of us accountable. I hold Africans accountable. I hold Nigerians accountable. I hold us all accountable. You understand what I'm saying? That is what this channel is about. I don't beg for money. I don't do no fundraising. I just do my videos. Those of you that bless me with your super chats, you bless me. Thank you. Those of you that bless me with your uh, uh, with your cash apps, I thank you. But I, I don't never ask you brothers for money. I don't never beg you brothers or you sisters for money. So this channel is about us. Anyway, I digress. Let's keep going. The other women also jumped on the bandwagon and talking about how black men talk about black women behind closed doors to them and tell them that they're so much better than black women and yada, yada, yada. And I don't doubt that that happens. There's some black men out here that's so contastic and so far gone that they're just lost causes. But my sisters, you are a plum fool if you think that these women 
are behind closed doors telling these black men, you better stop talking about black women. We're all equal. No, don't put me above them. Are you that naive? Are you that naive? They throw in some of them black men under the bus now for clout. But if you think that they are standing up for you behind closed doors, you are a fool. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Don't, <laughs> baby. Stop letting, stop letting these people play, y'all. Like, seriously, stop letting these people play, y'all, because that's all they're doing. Everybody is jumping on the cater to black women's um, emotions. For like, we know that they exist. We do. So I'm not denying that that happens. But what I am denying is I seriously doubt I would bet money that these other color women are not taking up for you black women behind closed doors. These other color women are not telling these black men, don't put us above black women. Don't speak to black women like that. We're all equal. You think they really doing that behind closed doors? You think these women really telling these black men that? Meanwhile, they still marrying and carrying their kids and laid up with them and rubbing it all in your face. But you think they taking up for you? No. They just jumped on the bandwagon because they know black women are easy to manipulate and they want a little clout and black women give it to them. Stop allowing yourself to be manipulated. Like, like, I'm so serious. I don't care what they told you. Nobody is more for a black woman than a black man, okay? Nobody is gonna support a black woman like a black man will, okay? I don't care what they told you. Stop allowing yourself to be so manipulated. Y'all so forgiving for everybody else but your own men. The ones who really would put their life on the line for you. And I do know there are some horrible black men out there. And let me just put you in my business real quick. I have every reason under the sun to not like black men. I have been hurt in every way that you could think of by a black man. But guess what? I still know that ain't all black men. I still know that those black men that hurt me don't represent the whole. And guess what those black men do for me? Talking about the black men that hurt me, guess what they do for me? They make me appreciate the good ones even more. They make me cherish the good ones even more. Ladies and gentlemen, do I need to say anything more? We all can agree, no I do not. No I do not. God bless this sister. And this gives me hope. See, this is one of the reasons why I started this channel. And it's refreshing. It makes me happy when I see sisters that are waking up. I see a lot of sisters are waking up. Because when I started this channel, I only had 5%. Then it went to 7%. Then it went to 10%. Then it went to 15%. To, then it went to 17% of women. Now I'm at 19% of women that listen to this channel, that are subscribed to this channel. So it makes me happy when I see sisters like this. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay. God bless.